This week on Tuesdays with Maura, we're going to focus on communication. It's such a huge and broad topic that we're actually going to start with nonverbal communication. We can say as much as we want, but if our nonverbal communication at a baseline is not great, we're not going to be communicating with each other in a good way. Our culture and our development and our performance will suffer. So the first area of nonverbal communication I'd like you to think about with your team is, are they great at giving high fives or fist bumps or pats on the back, some form of interaction physically with each other? The reason that's so important is that as human beings, it's how we tell each other that we're in this together that I've got your back and you've got my back. That physical touch is what separates us as humans from other animals. The second area that I'd like you to gauge your team on is eye contact. Do your athletes do a good job, not just with you, but with each other of giving eye contact? Again, a way of communicating that baseline must be really good before we can move on to the verbal forms of communication. The tough part is holding your athletes accountable to these two mental behaviors, but they're just as important as physical behaviors. When you see them falling short in either of those areas, stop, have them reenact the situation and do a better job physically. Train it just like you would train a physical skill. It might feel awkward at first. In the long run, it's gonna pay off with your team culture and your performance and how well your team interacts. Have a great week, have a great time, high-fiving, and we'll see you next Tuesday.